Hey guys, uh, welcome to my new series, Calvin's iPhone Showcase. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you Super Brothers Swords and Sworcery EP. There you go. Um, this is a, so kind of the thing with that I want to do with this series is kind of uh, show how, show, show you some apps out there that are lesser known, um, that are lesser known, but are worth taking a look at. Um, so that's what we're looking at today. Um, this game is uh, popular in the indie game culture. Um, it's one of the more popular indie games out there, but again, it's not a, it's not a mainstream game that a lot of people know about. Uh, but this song, or the, the, sorry, this app has great music, uh, it's got, uh, uh, charming graphics, uh, charming, um, it has compelling graphics, I guess, um, with the retro-looking abstract kind of art, um, and it's it's it kind of really immerses you into the experience of the game. So, well, we're just gonna get started here. You move around by uh, tapping, or tapping, tapping, double tapping, or tapping and holding, which is what I'm doing now, um, and just kind of dragging along the screen uh, you can kind of move around you can double tap on stuff to uh, examine it to observe it uh, so you can observe this bearded person the dark-haired girl oh yeah I guess that's not a beard uh, okay uh, never mind she was known as girl this game is very abstract one of the things that makes it interesting. In the meadow, there is an immovable thing. Spider thingamajig. That'll probably come into play later. Uh, <laughs> a few worthless sheep. Worthless. Mm, so, yeah. Just gonna walk along here. Uh see what there is to see um sometimes it may feel like a linear game but there's still a lot of exploring that you can do um there's a lot to see and observe and click on i like the sound effects in this in this game too it's got some good sound effects look at this well it's a Average well, I guess. Let's go over to this hut. Let's go inside the hut. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's around something or other. So there's a moon inside the hut. That's very conducive to the laws of physics. And we're gonna go over to this log chopping man. What's your name, log chopping man? Wood chopping woodsman chopped wood. To the mountain folk, he's known as Logfella. Well, good his name as any. Greetings, Logfella. Was it super jazzed? So, he's got some. Got some uh, hesitations. Let's go, log fella, to the old road. <clears throat> uh, that house looks like a face. Let's tap it. See what it is. See what it has to say. Inscription that read tweet and ye shall be retweeted. Hmm. Maybe later, as in never. You know, if there's one thing I'm actually not a fan of, it's social network integration in games. It's a nice, it's a nice looking key. Very generic. You know what they say, generic is 
Best not. Alright. I'm gonna walk through this road. This gate, wall, door, thing. Ah, give us some good music. Again, this game's got a really interesting graphical style. Thought I saw something over there. Saw some kind of wolf thingy. Figured he'd just let us handle it. Well, we shall handle it with honor and bravery. Forward! Alright. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Oh, uh, okay, so I apologize, but with the recording, um, screen recording, you have to stop recording every time you rotate the screen, because for some reason it can't switch orientations in the middle of the screen recording. So, uh, let's just say I, uh, dispatched that wolf. I, uh, oh, 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 it's Sam. It's Grandma Puckett himself. And back to this good music. Another guy house thing. Looks like a face. Is it a uh, hut that looks like a face? Yes, it's a hut that looks like a face. So it's a uh, face hut. I'm trying to reference Gravity Falls, but I the quotes not coming to me right now. This is rock, face rock, the rock that looks like a face. Is it a face? Well, it looks like a face, but it's a rock. So. Yeah, anyways. Uh, solitary grave. What was up with that? What's up with that, man? Ominous gate. Let's go sit on this comfortable looking stone seat. Yes. Very yes. Oh, looks like this might be another. It's a giant man. I think this might be another uh, uh, rotation right here. Skyward Sword. Getting some Zelda Zelda reference in there. I'm just kidding. Um, we're just gonna have a little cut in the recording because I have to rotate. Yep, that confirms it. Just to rotate this. Bada bing, bada boom. Simple as that. Majestic! And uh, is that all I have to do? Or I have to, guess I have to rotate it back now. Huh? Yep. Okay, just gonna keep slicing it. Slice and dice the air. Oh, and it seems as though this face stuck its tongue out. We did feel super smart. Burdensome book of sinister sorcery, known as the Megatome. It's a major plot point in the uh, film industry. They call it uh, MacGuffin. The uh, central plot device. Okay. Low the rainbows, and whoop, there we go. Just gonna slide across that tongue. That, uh, okay. Very dark and ominous area right here. 
just gonna trigger. Gonna just skip through this. Well, not skip, but like. As in a merry skip. With a hop and a skip and a jump, as the saying goes. Okay, let's go past the beer skull. Antlered skull. We have. Another giant face. Giant man face. With a beard. I'm gonna go into this sl other slightly face looking building. Okay. Oh, Sky Force. Hmm. Might showcase that game. That game's really fun. But we're gonna ignore that for now and keep going. And looks like I'm turning on Do Not Disturb. I'm gonna stroll through here with this nice music. Statue Man. Is it a live statue man? Ugh. Ominous statue man, of course. I should have known. Ooh, nice temple. Let us go inside and see if the Megatome is... Within yon foundation nook. This is very spooky. So yeah, the uh, not all of the apps I'll do will be games. A lot of them will. But uh, if I find another app that uh, needs recognition, I'll make a showcase of that. Seems we have reached the Megatome, if that's what this giant skull is holding. Uh, yep, sure enough, lo and behold, the Megatome. It looks like I've got to slice it out of the pictographic red blah, 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 blah. Mingita seems to be the name of the temple. So I'm going to rotate it so that I can slice open the book. Slice open his hands, so he drops the book. I pick up the... Nope, don't slice the book. I gotta rotate back so I can pick up the book. Put it in my pack. And on my way. But what is this? Now this giant demon creature is coming after me. gonna very hastily speed walk out of here with my little stick legs and he can just okay yep we're gonna go keep going keep going keep going keep going yes 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 just gonna keep going do not let him catch up oh my gosh he is really creepy and we're just gonna go away from the nightmare fuel safe See if it last. I think the uh, creepy music stopped, so I assume that's. But oh, maybe not. Okay, yep. And we're gonna continue hastily speed walking away from this demon bent on my destruction, and now he's super fast. <laughs> I'm gonna, yep. I'm gonna try to speed along, speed along, speed along. Go, 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 go. Ah! And okay, looks like we're in the clear. Into the man face, made out of face rock. I'm gonna continue past yon other face rock. Tongue. Uh, hey. And there goes the tongue. Ah. Ooh, looks like he had some uh, bad burritos. And some, a, uh, something that made his eyes melt. Or... Okay. Whew. He was 100% ready to move it, move it, move it. Yes. I wholeheartedly agree. 
after witnessing that creepy demon guy. Ugh. Shiver down the spine. Continue. Oh, some nice music here. a lot of other YouTubers that I've watched gameplay, it seems like they never stop talking. They never stop talking to appreciate the uh, sounds and music of the games they play, but that's what sets me apart from those men, or women, or YouTubers. I enjoy the sweeter things in life, the smaller things. Things that add to the environment of the game. Continue onwards, Lockfella. Just go right ahead. To this place which we shall call our home. Oh, what is this? Looks like we have one of the three-eyed wolf dogs. They have really fat sausage bodies. I call them sausage dogs. That's a really lame name. I'll come up with something better. But in the meantime, we're going to. Oh, what? This looks like some stairs right there. Man. I gotta get this recording finished up. That was. strange. Stop. Sounded like some... Huh. Thought maybe Logfella fell over and all this wood spilled all over. It's a serious case of the heebie-jeebies. Probably totally safe. Maybe. We'll head inside. Oh, look, it's bearded girl. It's bearded. Girl. Rest easy, Logfella. You are safe. For we have the Megatome. Okay, so it looks like that's and we are the smart ones. So cool. Uh awesome. That's a good place to stop I think but uh, anyways yeah if I highly recommend checking out Super Brothers uh, swords and sorcery EP uh, I think you're good if you just search Super Brothers um, you'll probably find it but um, uh, hopefully I'll uh, this will be a continuing series and um, if you want to I'll uh, make more uh, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment what you want me to do better. Thank you.